In a turn of political events, we have the pleasure of speaking with someone who has a distinctive viewpoint on the presidential race. Former Republican presidential candidate Dr. Roland Roberts joins us. Dr. Roberts, thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure. Thanks for having us. So just about a year ago, you announced your candidacy for president. Um, and in a recent turn of events, you decided to suspend um, your candidacy. What was the primary reason for that? Certainly. Well, we've had a great year. We've been campaigning nonstop every day for, for a year. And uh, we've, out of 19 original starting candidates, uh, we finished seventh yesterday, uh, Monday, in the Iowa caucus. Mm -hmm. And so the impetus for suspending the campaign yesterday was because of the showing, uh, the dominant showing by uh, Donald Trump uh, mm -hmm. in the Iowa caucus and also where number two and number three placements fell. Okay. It really made uh, a, a statement on where the country is, where the party is. And so we felt it was best to suspend the official presidential campaign, but to keep focusing on the, and spreading the message and mobilizing around our vision for America. And so that's what we'll do. Are you thinking about possibly endorsing any other candidates? Uh, you know, we're, we're talking to a couple of campaigns and, and kind of looking at what the landscape look like, looks like. We're also talking to some potential presidential candidates and seeing what that uh, uh, what may be and what may unfold this year. Uh, right now, we're focused on our vision and our voice being a voice for America. Mm -hmm. And now what is that vision? My vision is in Voice for America is that it doesn't matter who the political candidate is and what the policies are. If good policy and good candidates could save America, we would already be saved and we aren't. Uh, my belief and vision is that America needs God. And until he is recognized in America in his rightful place again, no amount of policy, no amount of protesting, no amount of rioting will solve the division in America today. Mm -hmm. And now, do you have any plans for, you know, future political involvement? You know, we're going to keep uh, keep all of our events. We're going to keep mobilizing and we are going to keep speaking uh, this truth that mm -hmm. uh, America needs God and an America without God will fail. And also on what the economy needs to look like and what national security, how do we best secure ourselves and our borders and immigration, education, energy, and then also on strengthening families. Uh, I believe that the strength of the family is the strength of the nation. And so we're going to continue and probably even add more events as the days go by. Okay, and, and I do have to ask you, I mean, you really have, you know, you had an inside seat at, at what was really going on. So I, I wanna ask you, what are your thoughts right now with, with how the race is going? You know, it's been an interesting time because Donald Trump was the first two and, and Corey Stapleton were the first two candidates to file for presidency in 2022, mm. actually, uh, and very early, which was very rare. And we actually thought it was going to be a small field. Uh, I was the third presidential candidate to file, and we thought there would only be about seven or eight candidates, and you know everybody and, and their brother ended up jumping in. Uh, and then, of course, a lot of them weeded themselves out, and most didn't even make it to the Iowa caucus. Mm -hmm. uh, I can tell you, though, that the current landscape is very clear, that, uh, that even though Donald Trump is the predominant uh, front runner, uh, there's a lot of challenges, both, both with his candidacy uh, and the legal system around what's going on, uh, justified or unjustified, weaponized or not, um, it almost that's almost irrelevant. And he's not the only one that's been uh, weaponized. Uh, the government has been weaponized. Uh, there's been many. We have left a trail of bodies, a, lot, a trail of uh, former allies of the United States around the world. Uh, and so it is symptomatic of a much deeper problem. Uh, but I do believe that, uh, you know, he is the predominant uh, front runner and will continue to be so. I mean, he's very dominant right now. And really, to me, Monday was a litmus test on where the Republican Party is and where the nation is. Uh, but I do think we have major challenges as a party because, uh, you know, he lost the 2020 election. And I think going into 2024, there's less support now than there was then. A lot of his uh, base is louder now than they were then. But the support among evangelicals, the support among uh, immigrants, the support among uh, casual or, you know, former type Republicans uh, has very much waned. Mm. That is fascinating. Dr. Roberts, I want to thank you so much for joining us. And now how can our viewers keep up with you? 
Hey, we're still at RolandRoberts.com, R-O-L-L-A-N. We're on all the social platforms. And uh, if you believe that America needs God uh, and that we will be better off with his blessing than just our machinations of how to be, how to be better, then uh, please keep up with us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Roland. We're back after this.